Right, it's my bad time. I've got a couple of things which are already open, and this is something I'll be waiting for. So I need to get on a mailbag. So I've only got three things here. Let's stick around and find out what these are. This is needed for a project, which I'm going to be doing a video on. So in this box, like I said, I've already opened it up because I wanted to find out what was in it because I'm waiting for some parts. And that's exactly what's in here. LCD screens, graphical LCDs. So I've actually got a piece of equipment I'm repairing right now when I was uh, Electro Fusion Welders, which has a smashed screen. I cannot seem to find the exact same screen, like the same manufactured screen. But there's lots of ones which are very similar, like the same for print, same pinouts. And they may work, they might as well drop in. I'm hoping so. So I've actually got two different screens here. One's white, one's green. I'll probably use the green one first if that works, hopefully. And these are slightly different versions, as you can probably see from the back, they're not exactly the same. So if one doesn't work, hopefully the other one does. This is an LCM 12864D version 2. And this one is a LG 128642. I'm hoping that they both work, really. That's what I'm really hoping. But if one doesn't work, at least I've got two chances to get this right. This particular type, not played with those before. So I'm hoping that these will work. Watch out for the video coming out soon where I will be repairing this thing and hopefully one of these screens will work. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. This took a little while to arrive. I may not even need them now. <laughs> I did find some. I, did, I thought I had some somewhere and I found them the other day. These are just IEC mains connectors for chassis mounting things. This project seems to do on a HP 3400A AC voltage meter. It's kind of got a non-standard, weird, old-fashioned connector, which you can get them, but they're really expensive to have a cable for it. And I wanted to swap it out with one of these, because then it's standardised to modern-day standards, and this cables are cheap. And I've got loads of them. There'll be links down below for these things as well, obviously. There always are. If I can give you a link, I will. Let's find out what's in this thing. So I've got a few things on the way, too. I've got some more review items coming soon. They may even be out before this video, I'm not quite sure how my timing goes. I've got a few things which are being sent to me to review, which would be nice. Always like to review items. And this is a gift box. Not always, but often I'll get a, just like other YouTubers, we get a little gift pack from these brands at Christmas time to say thank you, you know. It's got my name on it, so it must be mine. Yeah, what did they send me? They said they were going to send me something, I just don't know what it is. Code shirt. Polo shirt, looks like. Is there branding on it? That's alright. Having new shirts is always nice, you know. And yeah, I, I can't fold stuff for crap, just ask my wife. She, she, yeah, she's gonna go open me, probably. <laughs> let's, just, let's just leave it. So, got a shirt. Oh, wire stripper. Multifunction wire stripper with cutters. Oh, that's nice. You always need cutters and wire strippers. Little, especially little small ones like this, isn't it? Quite small, it's quite good. Tie to hold it together, so you hold it shut because it naturally springs open. So that's 0.8 up to 2.6 mil or AW20 to 10 gauge flush cutters. That'd be really handy, I reckon. That's great. I'll see a little tie there. So there's a few interesting things in here. What's this? Pack it open. Okay, because I, I currently have like a little plastic sleeve which I keep my cards in. And this would actually be nicer for that, I think. What else we got in here? Kiwit stickers. Bunch of these, electrical services, whole load of those things, all the same ones. 
Look at this, probe kit. 23-in-1 electronic test leads kit. Okay. Oh, look at the nice little needle probes. These things always come in handy. Always get needle probes. You always want needle probes. They're really handy. Um, crocodile clips, insulated ones. Decent springs in them. That's nice. Some small ones. That's uh, an insulated probe. There we go. Oh yeah, it's got the um, terminal bit onto it. Is that screwed in? No, that's actually fixed in there. All right, okay. So that's really handy for doing banana connections. And this ends the standard banana socket on that end as well. Okay. Got some grabbers as well. Really flexible grabber, look at that. That's really soft and flexible, that works really well. Banana socket on there. Got a tweezer lead. This is a bunch of really helpful stuff. These things come in handy. I've got one of these somewhere too, I think. But I think I've got a four wire one, but it's a bit clumsy. This has certainly got a place you're doing service mount stuff. Plug it into meter and just tweezer. That could be handy, definitely. Uh, we've got some clip on leads, little J clips, banana jacks on them. Might have bananas, insulated tips on there. I think that's PVC leads. Yeah, I think that's PVC leads, but I think that's alright. They're quite thin, so they're quite flexible. These also have PVC leads, but they're also very flexible. And this was just banana to banana. That's a nice little set. That will get some use. What the difference between this one and this one? Oh, this one's a springy one. Look at this. It's got a spring in there. And try and get into tight spaces. Another little needle probe. I did see the tip of that in here. Little cover. It's falling off. Always want to keep your, your covers and your probe tips. Might just a bit loose, that's probably why. Don't want to stab yourself. Cool. So nice. Nice little set. And there's still something else. We're not finished yet. There's a meter. HT one one eight E. Not familiar with that one. I'm sure it's been around for a little while, maybe. I don't know actually. Maybe I'll do a review on these things. Mechanical style, comes with batteries, it's got leads as well. Full up PVC leads, it's got a temperature probe. So frequency and volts DC, AC DC, millivolts AC DC frequency, hertz percentage, so the producer cycle, uh, resistance sounder and diode test, capacitance, temperature, microamps, that's nice, AC DC, um, milliamps AC DC, amps AC DC, non-contact voltage. I might have to look at doing a review on this. Check that out later on. I think I will do a review on this, you know, like I said, these multimeter reviews and test them against my calibrator. Put the thing on a calibrator and see how good they are. You know, not many people put these things on calibrators. I'm one, maybe I'm the only one that does it. I don't know. But, mind you, calibrators aren't exactly cheap, so not many people have got them. Apart from Marco, of course. Hi, Marco. I know you watch me sometimes. Cool, so that's a nice little selection of things from Kiwi. That's a nice little Christmas present. That was very nice of them. Wasn't expecting all this. I was a bit, you know, I was thinking I'll get a shirt or something, you know. Thanks like Kiwi's. Almost missed this. That's what's on the back of the shirt. Also to do with their hand tools line of equipment. Click like and subscribe if you've not been here before. And check out my other videos. Subscribe right here. And there's a Patreon support link right there if you want to become a member and support the channel and help me to buy things for mailbag and other bits of gear to fix the new videos about. Catch you later.